Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of Teaport in City Skylines with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me, just enjoying the view from the top of this waterfall that we've got up here at the edge of our city. We're creeping closer and closer to perhaps building up here. I think that looks like a lovely place for a little town. Bit foggy right on the edge of the map, but that could be something special. I'd like to try and expand more perhaps around in this area here. I feel like we're building along the river. We've got loads up along here, but this side is looking a bit sparse. So maybe this section through here we can concentrate on first of all. Thank you for all the hints and tips and the great feedback on our big gridded episode that we did last time i think this is looking really really nice it's worked out okay a couple of little detaily type bits and pieces here and there uh, we'd need to do but that's fine we've got plenty of time haven't we to work on that and the votes were in kilometers per hour seems to be the absolute go-to for all of you heathens out there but i do understand because we are driving on the uh, right side of the road instead of the left uh, if it's on the left miles an hour perhaps would go together but yeah we're on the other side of the road and the majority of you know what kilometers an hour is and we've sort of got used to that so we've switched back so don't uh, concern yourself about that also thank you for letting me know about this little button here we can change the default speed on all of the roads i'm sorry the box is so small hopefully we can zoom in and be able to see that a bit better but you can scroll through all the different roads change the speed limit and then apply it and it will apply it to all of the roads i believe it will if you save it it saves it to anything you build from now on if you apply it it applies it to all of the roads that was my understanding of it if that box was a bit bigger i'd probably sit down and go through that but it's so small it's like doing my head in <laughs> it's tiny we can't see it so i've just sort of left it and we're not going to fiddle too much with that uh, today let's put a little bit of detail in here we do need more schools in this area we've had like the building that was here we've had a couple more like this guy here not enough educated workers because if we just check out our education that we've got in here let's just do it so we can see so these are pretty much full to the brim all of them so we've got a bit of a bottleneck where we haven't got enough spaces uh, for all the kiddlywinkies so yeah all of those are filled up our high school yeah then they're filled up yep definitely and then the university we've just got one over here that is not filled up so we can see where the bottleneck is so could we squeeze in maybe let's have a look and a couple of these sort of spots that we've got here if we move these over oh actually look we can fit one there and one there couple of those little schools that size that gives us a huge extra booster capacity of 500 there we could definitely fit one here and we can definitely fit one here these are all our slots actually let's do it here right by the the library if we go that way whoop there we go who's lacking water speak up we shall fix your lack of water okay this is just going to be a budget jump uh, budget waters on max oh okay well fair enough then let's give you a bit more water as we're obviously lacking on that where are we sucking up yeldy water from do you know what i don't think we are anymore we're using the inland water doohickeys aren't we why don't we plot one of those over here has that got like a it's got a little sphere of unhappiness around it <laughs> you know what i mean uh don't want to put it over there why not let's plop it here being right in the middle of the trees where nobody is going to see it and then we can hook that up and hopefully that will take us over a little bit more yeah not too bad i'm going to double hook that up just to make sure there's no issues so yeah that's fine that's good and then also we could probably do with putting in another mti oh yeah i'll call it mti it's this one the university of creative arts as they were both full could we squeeze it in over here or maybe off this main road i think that yeah we've got space up here haven't we we could oh do you know what i'm gonna anarchy that in there that's fine yep that's okay you can see that as you're coming along the main road there very good so that should help and then as we said the university was fine so let's see where we're going to expand a bit over here so we've got this collector road coming through here and yes watching city planner plays watching overcharge deg watching zardus to meister all the other guys on five builders one challenge uh one one challenge five builders one city is rubbing off on me definitely for sure 
I am learning things. Well, that's good, isn't it? You know, we're all learning things, so why the heck not? Thinking here, hmm, let's grab this one. I want to try and sort of cram as much in here as we can without causing too many problems. So what I might just do here is I'm going to come in with a 10 there, 10 length. I'm going to do the same here. Now, we do have our... Oh, is that empty now? Okay, I don't know why these are asked to be empty. I've got this here. That could actually move somewhere else. Um, and if we have all of that as housing, nice waterfront property, we could push that somewhere else. But I'll worry about that in a minute. Um, let's just give that give way dedicated turning lanes. Dedicated turning lanes and give way. Yep, excellent. That's good. I like the way you're coming up here. There's nowhere to go. It makes me laugh when they do that. Then I'm going to grab the tree-lined one and it's going to connect to this because this is going to be this is going to be sort of part of no don't like that let's do that again this is going to be part of it but we're gonna yeah that's better but we're going to move those like we said okay so that'll be like that and then we can sort of build off of this we could come along here as well couldn't we and go to the end there and we also get off go to the end here. I'd like that to sort of match that road, but <laughs> that road's a bit wiggly woggly, isn't it? Oh, actually, there we go. That's not too bad. We go like that. Yeah, that's okay. Very good, very good. And then let me just move these things over here somewhere. We could just literally have them coming off the back of this road, although I put them here so they've got access to this area, so I don't really want to put them too far away, but I'm loath to sort of... I don't want to move them twice. How about over here? Look, we've got right by this highway right by this line of very noisy helicopters that we've got all along here this little section here i think will work out quite well so we'll do the same thing again with this uh, i'm gonna just line it up we don't do it so long yeah there we go excellent so they can easily come out and go whichever way they want to go don't need any of that on there that's fine no traffic lights no traffic lights, no problems. Um, let's grab this road here. So we just have that come out that way, up to the railway line, and sort of alongside that. It's a lot of space. Let's grab these. So we're going to move that one, which will happily move whether it's full or not. Um, yeah, that can go there. We've got a small little recycling plant. Yeah, I want to make the use of this. So let's go up to there with that one we'll take our recycling plant recycling center and then this one could just go against there and that all sort of works together doesn't it that's good let's just shorten this road a touch there we go fits in nicely and lets us use all of this space over here excellent um so what are we going to do here let's grab these roads again so we've got the tree line roads down here let's just upgrade that one. Oh yeah couldn't see the trees because the trees are all dead and then what i'm thinking is i want this to be i know we've just put our water tower in here but i don't think that looks too bad in there <laughs> just have this as some sort of basic little park through here and let's just set up some bendy wendy roads over here nothing too nothing too complicated yeah and just see what we end up with so let's just give that a go Okay, there we go. Just gone for totally random shapes, just to keep it interesting. Let us put a zone in here. And then we're going to have to have a name for this. So let me know in the comments below any names you think we could use for this. And I do need to, you are quite correct, go back and do a whole load of naming. I'm very behind in my naming. <laughs> I do apologise. Uh, I'll get to it. I will get to it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do this along here. And then I want to ban high rises in here. I'm trying to sort of keep the high rises for this area over there. I banned high rises in that one as well. So Aspen Square, as it is at the moment. Let's go to our policies, city planning, high rise ban. 
that'll do for now and then what i'm thinking is is along here we'll go for some high density housing so if i just grab this and fill this bit in all along the front okay so i'm thinking of high density housing along there we're going to need some shops in here as well and i'm thinking this little section around here oh auto save quick sip of tea mm. This little section around here could be quite good for some shops and over here as well. I think this would be quite nice. So let's have not up against that road, but these ones and these ones and maybe these ones. That will probably be enough shops. And then everything else is going to be normal low density. So let me just quickly fill that in. Okay, so I've popped some services in there as well, just to make sure that they're all covered. Um, and then we're going to need some schools in here. So I'm thinking of building a dedicated little school area over here uh, in amongst these trees and just making something of that. How can we do that? Let's have a road coming off of here. Um, as always, we're going to start with our asymmetric road right in the middle. Let's just level that off. There we go. Right in the middle there. That's quite far. Let's just go like that. There we go. And then we'll set this up to be dedicated turning lanes and give way. And then up the top here, let's have a look. What kind of interesting roads have we got we could use? Maybe this one... First of all, I'm just thinking of sort of running it. Hmm. Let's see. Do you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm then going to take a this one here, one-way road. And we're going to go... Uh, where's a roundabout? Here we go. So we're going clock uh, anti-clockwise on the roundabouts. Yes, that's right. So I'm going to go this way like this. And we're going to sort of run this around where these trees are almost like that in a circle all the way around so they can come up come down go round, sort themselves out no bother and then in the middle here this will be where our schools are so uh, again just literally what the heck is that again just literally taking whatever shape comes to mind oh it's because it's on such a slopey slope isn't it and then just sort of working with that and i i think sometimes that's a, a cool way of building why not why not indeed let's get that one there and we're gonna have to flatten all of this out <laughs> otherwise we're gonna have schools on mounds which will be very weird won't it uh, that could actually come all the way out like this it's gonna let me yep like that that'll be good i'll come back and level this in a sec and then let's see i don't really want to connect to that again whoa jumpy i'm gonna have this as a separate so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring that down here first go along that way and then along that way and then delete that out so that's at the same degree as that one whoa um and then we could have a road going up there yeah okay let me just flatten all this out one sec there we go just sorting out the last couple of things let's get that and do slope objects that's better that one that one that one and that one slope objects yeah there we go all flattened out nice interesting shape something a little bit different so what could we fit in here um let us make sure that we've got plenty of education i'm gonna have do we need another mi mti mit mti this one here has got plenty of space as long as we give them the ability to come over here i think we'll be fine so let's go for a nice little nice little school setup um public library i want over here oh they've all filled in look at that excellent oh i hadn't even noticed oh very good very good looking nice lovely helicopter helicopter jam over there that's what i wanted high density there and then smaller houses behind we can come back and pop some parks and things in and i don't mind it being a bit winky wonky with the land you know it makes it look a bit more interesting with the trees behind and the slopes i like that a lot i like it a lot okay right yeah let's get a school thing going over here oh yeah public library if i pop a public library here and get rid of those houses that have just been built in that sort of covers that half and then we could pop one sort of there 
and that'll cover the other half and then we just need to get rid of the zoning underneath oh, i think it's already gone okay what i might just do do you know what i'm going to take these houses away and make this all commercial that side of the uh railway line so basically with that it gives more chance for people to upgrade their educational level which is what we want so yeah that's good so let's pop a little school in here. I'm still thinking maybe we'll go for the normal buildings this time. So we've got, that's that size, that's that size. So let's maybe pop in a couple of three, a couple of these. I mean, we know we're going to need loads of these. So I'm sort of thinking it's like a, a complex where you'd come and you've got all these different schools, you've got different classrooms and all that sort of thing. So that's why we can have them all close together. I'm definitely going to put another one each side like that. That'll be good. Then the high school, we can sort of have down this end. So again, I'm going to do that so it doesn't look exactly symmetrical. If I put another one next to it there, would it look too much? Or could I switch that with the community school? Oh, uh, not the community school. The Yeah, that one there would actually look better. If we can put that on the end, sort of get those three in a little hub like that. And those ones over here in sort of a little hub. And then we want to sort of beautify this up a little bit. Because at the minute, it's just schools plonked down. Nothing else much going on. So let's maybe add some paths in here as well. I like those. We could have another path going down there. This one coming down there. And across this side, the same. There we go. I feel like this needs to be some sort of park up here. What have we got parky-wise? I mean, we've got the bouncy castle. Not quite sure that's something you'd have right by a school, perhaps. Large playground. That could work out quite well. Do you know what? Actually, that is quite good. Right by the school. I like that. What else have we got? What other, what's this here? Cargo storage. No, let's not do that. Oh, we've got basketball courts and things. Let's try and squeeze some of that over here. That goes in nicely. We're going to lift this up a bit, I think, just so it levels it all out. I like that. Could we pop another one over here? Definitely. That goes in nicely. And then what, what other sporty type things have we got? Yeah, we've got this skate park here. I'd like to add that in. Uh, let's just pop that over here. Got a little one-way road. Can I fit a couple of skate parks, like one at either end, like that, backing up against the school? Would that be a good idea? The kids think it's a good idea. I was going to try and put it a little bit further away from the school so it wasn't quite as obvious outside the windows of the school. Maybe not there. Let's grab this road. Bring that out parallel to there. I'm going to do the same with this one. And then we're going to move that over here. So let's put that up against the edge and then we're going to move that one. I feel like we need a couple, but I don't want to sort of make it all symmetrical if we can help it and do that. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. I'm going to use the move it mod and make those the same height as this. That's better. Actually, look, they're against the grounds then. Much better. Yeah, a couple of those along there. Very good. Oh, yeah, just found something else that we can add in here. We've got our five-a-side soccer pitch. There we go. I think that looks good. Can I squeeze a road in there? No, we'll have that coming off of there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Move It mod. And we're going to just budge that up. Yeah, a tiny bit like that. So we get a five-a-side football pitch in there. And then we've also got this one, uh, the Tarmac version. What's this one here? Oh, Indoor Pitch. How big is that? Oh, running out of space now. Um, Could I move some of these up here? That's going to overlap. That fits in okay. If we move this one over. Suddenly feel like I'm playing Tetris. There we go. That's all right. We're going to move that one up to there. So then we can fit something in here. And we're going to go for this one. Yes, there we go. And then what else? What else? What else? I think that is probably going to be it. That is not looking too bad, is it? And then with a few rocks and trees... This thing will absolutely go through the roof. Already people turning up, which is great. Yeah, I think that looks nice. We just need a bit of car parking in here as well for all of the schools, don't we? So maybe I could just pop a little bit of that in here and there.
well let's take a look this place is certainly being well used we've got buses flying through <laughs> what are you doing what are you doing please don't do that it upsets the children yeah lots of people coming in lots of people used all the different facilities which is great Who's going to win, red or blue? Let's zoom in a bit and see. I reckon blue's going to score. I'll have a sip of tea while he's doing it. Come on. You haven't got all day. Get past him. Shuffle, spin. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what I thought. Okay, so that's lots of people playing with that. That's good. Lots of people over here at the schools. Using the car parking. The football. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm liking the look of it. A nice little parking going through the middle here as well. So what I'd like to do is enable people to walk up to here a little bit more or take buses. That would be fantastic. So let us just zoom out a minute and have a look. So this is nicely grown here. What's the population of this little section here? Where's our zone name? Aspen. What is going on with the traffic? <laughs> I just noticed. Oh my goodness me, I'm having heart palpitations. 3,833. Okay, let's just leave that paused for a minute. At the minute, they have no other options to get anywhere other than drive. Where is the... Oh, it's all coming out of there, which is then backing up. There's no traffic lights here, is there? It's just give way. I think that's what it is. But they're never getting a chance to come out much. How about we put in here a pair... A set of pair. A set of time traffic lights automated. Let's just see whether that helps. We'll put it like this and keep an eye on all of this traffic. Okay, we definitely need to let this one run longer. Um, so let's just take a look at that. When we see which one it's going to be, this one. Okay, so well, let's move that over to here. Oh, I can't move it down anymore. I'm trying to put it somewhere I can see what the darn box says. There we go. So it's the middle one here. So hopefully we can zoom into that and you can see it. Uh, let's edit that. So three and eight. I'm going to put that up to three and 18. Just to really try and get this stuff going. So let's give that a go. And also, I don't want these diving down the end here let's just say no lane switch in there or there you can definitely pick it when you get there because if it wasn't for this backing up this wouldn't all back up why are they all going this way let's just use our in-game tool and pick that road so most of them are going up here oh that's the nearest way to get on the highway to head out ah okay and some of them are going up here some are driving around to the school okay there we go. Look, it's going down now. Look, and we're only getting like a little bit backing up in either direction here. I don't know why that guy stopped all the way back there. What, <laughs> what is going on? I think there might have been a bike in front of him. It's fine. Yeah, that's not too bad. And then what I'm going to do to help as well is we're going to do this. Let's take this one here, this one here. In around about tunnel. Can we do it above ground? If we did tunnel, what's it going to look like? It's going to be all a bit weird. That might be the best way to do it. Because then they're not going to stop for people crossing the road. They're just going to take all the underpasses. Unfortunately, it's like put one right in the middle of that house there. I mean, we could ignore it and sort of pretend... Oh, there, well, there we go. Problem solved. They've decided to move out. Okay, that's fine. So actually, that doesn't look too weird. And now they're not going to be stopping as much, waiting for people to cross so that'll be okay look there we go so now it's not backing up up there anymore this road's not backing up which means this one's still backing up because all of these are choosing that one road to come out if i put a connection up around here somewhere they're all going to choose that one instead which is what i don't want to do what would be good here is a little roundabout which means we're going to lose some of these houses but i think that's what we're going to have to do so i'm going to use the three lane road roundabout that one there. And we're going to make it... Well, My key binding has been reset. It's not going to let me change the size that way. Oh, there we go. It has done it. That'll be perfectly fine. Like that. Some of these houses will disappear, but hey-ho. And then if we set up, make sure this is all okay. Yeah. And we'll see how that goes and hopefully get them going a little bit quicker. And again, we've got people crossing over and stuff. So if I put these over the top and made it an inner roundabout, 
that just looks yeah don't like that no don't like that let's get rid of that yeah let's leave it like it is and hopefully that will help a little bit with the traffic we'll keep an eye on it now they're struggling to get out here because it's all backing up over here because you've added so much traffic in that's now coming up here into this teeny tiny road to get up on the highway darn you game as soon as you do one thing it messes up everything else well, i'll tell you what we could do we haven't got any mass transport in here at all this down here is a perfect spot for a little train station so i'll tell you what we're going to do We've also got our park we're going to put here. We haven't done that yet, have we? We'll maybe come back to that. Let's pop that up there. And this bit here is going to be this road here, like that. Mm, let me just move that down a touch. Move that down a touch. No. Oh, hang on. There we go. That's what I wanted. And then we're going to put a train station here. And I'm not expecting this to be too busy. This is almost like a little tiny bypass along here. So I'm going to hope that not having an extra bypass for this train station is going to work okay. Like that. And then if you have a look at our train stops, our train routes that we've got. Let's just run that a minute so they jump up onto there. Then we can add another stop in here. And that takes us all the way through to all sorts of different places. So I think that is going to work. So we'll have one that way. And then we'll have one that way. And we'll see how that goes. There we go. They're very happy. And then we're going to add a bus route in from here. There we go. So that should start stopping there and this bus route's gonna go let's see let's see up stop there up stop there one over here there and then it's gonna come up around the school so that's gonna go this way oh it's one way isn't it so we'll have there 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 and back again and then we'll have another one on the other side that goes here We'll sort of spread this out onto the other outer reaches of these little little arms and uh, we'll have that one in there mm, down to him back again yeah that should be okay a bit wiggly woggly as we say but i think it should be fine let's just put that by name oh, oh scroll up scroll up scroll up so that's 19 and 20 so 20 vehicles seven yeah okay and then 19 vehicles nine all right well, we'll go with you this time, game. We'll see what you say, and we'll just go with it. Why not? And then something we do need to add in here. Is this a little park or something? Something that's going to cover most of this area. Let us pop a little park in instead of those two houses on that side, and then we'll do another one instead of... Let's have a look. Those two houses on this side. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So hopefully now... There we go. Look, this traffic's all gone down already this is all okay this is all looking okay i just want to change that there let's just grab our train line again that one and we want that one and we want to upgrade like that and that one there yeah there we go so hopefully now with the buses coming over here and with the train going everywhere that's going to give much better access to everybody and then they're not all going to be <laughs> get the teeth in line and they're not all going to be driving on our main roads yeah look that's good that's not letting too many go then it changes yep and then we come up here what are you doing there sir it's like this little tiny house i've accidentally zip there we go <laughs> get rid of that this is all clear this is all cleared up there we go look a couple of seconds later it's all cleared up this bit here is a tiny bit busy what's going along are they all parked yeah these are all parked so it's only backing up to sort of up here what we could do on this one here look do i want to add no look the traffic's down here look there isn't any backing up it's fine it's all fine everything's fine everybody's happy nice and let's just take a quick look at our schools let's see what the usage is of these so that's nearly filled that's filled that's filled flipping it that's nearly filled lots of visitors on there which is good uh on there which is good this one here is filled 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 what seriously oh my life i think we need 
a second complex. <laughs> We're just not quite getting our education in enough, are we? Yeah, that's still only got 1,400. Oh, that was the other thing, wasn't it? I wanted... I'm going to have one more bus. This is going to be our shuttle bus to get to university. So we're going to have another line, like, over here. I just want to start a new one. There we go. So all the other two, the line for this side and that side converge here. This one's going to go from there to... Let's just see which way around that's going to go. How is that getting in? Yeah, around the top there to there and back again. And that is it. Yeah, that's good. So let's see how many is on that one. 21. 10. No. We'll do four. That'll be fine. There we go. So that becomes a teeny tiny hub here with the train with that. And I can get over to the university, which has plenty of space. But as it stands, we could do with some more schools, but that's not too bad, is it? That is not too bad. And then we just wanted to put a little park in here for people to come and visit. I'll tell you what we're going to do is I'm going to mark that in like this. There we go. So we know we've got to do that. Willow Hill. And we'll take a look at that, I think next time so thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this one please leave a like don't forget to check out the next video on the screen as well and i'll see you in a day or two for the next one have a great day take care bye bye